Well, there are uh, a lot of um, presentations. I would like to underline the, um, the, the presentation that was made yesterday by Dr. Dranning in the plenary section because it was the first after selected uh, this such meeting regarding the triangle study. I believe it is a very important study because it's a um, clinical change in practice uh, study because uh, this study uh, was uh, addresses the issue in uh, for the of uh, the need of uh, uh, transplantation or not in young patient with mantle cell lymphoma in advanced stage of diagnosis uh, and uh, um, as you know the standard of care for this patient is uh, chemo immunotherapy usually a job per day per, with alternating cycles followed by autologous stem cell transplant and reduction and maintenance in, in the triangle study uh, this uh, strategy uh, was challenged by the same strategy with additional ibrutinib, either in the induction uh, part uh, or in, in the maintenance, or in the third arm, uh, the same induction regimen with the chemoimmunotherapy in the ibrutinib and the rituximab maintenance, the ibrutinib maintenance, but without autologous stem cell transplantation, that is something that the patient usually do not like because it's uh, uh, quite uh, toxic. The results uh, uh, are very clear in the two arms of the um, with additional debrutin, it was a significantly advantage of progression free survival. We need to wait for an additional follow up to exactly know if uh, uh, the, uh, the arm without autologous stem cell transplantation uh, is okay or we need either debrutinib and autologous stem cell transplantation too. But we'll see next year, but probably next year, with a more mature follow up to the study.